excellent stars welcome back to my channel in today's video guys i'm going to show you guys how to make a lovely ball dress for a little girl i'm not sure how old she is but i'm going to put her age on the screen just so it gives you an idea of what the measurements um should be so in case you're making this for your daughter your niece or any little girl that you know this would actually serve as a guide okay so without further ado let's go ahead and make this lovely ball dress there <laughs> so i'm starting off by um drafting the bodice of my dress so i folded my fabric and then i marked the baseline and then i'm just going to go ahead and mark the half length so the half length of this dress is 12 inches and i just added half an inch okay at the shoulder just so that i have that allowance now from the shoulder line i'm going down by six inches which is the armhole line and I'm just marking that point. Now the shoulder measurement is 13 inches, which is six and a half when divided by two. So I just marked that and I added half inch allowance. On the armhole line, I'm just dividing the bust circumference by four and I'm marking that and I'm adding one and a half inches seam allowance. Now on the waistline, okay, which is the line at the bottom, I'm just also marking the waist circumference divided by four. I marked that and I added one and a half inches seam allowance and i'm connecting that to the bust now to get the armhole i'm just using my curve ruler to connect the point on the bust to the point on the shoulder for the neckline i'm using three inches as the width and two and a half inches for the depth of the neckline i'm just connecting those points with a curved line to create the neckline and now to slant my shoulder i'm just drawing a slanted line from the line at the top to the line at the bottom at the shoulder and now i'm just cutting along those lines now to get my back piece i'm just folding my fabric again and then i placed the front um, piece on top of the folded fabric and i'm just marking that baseline then for the back neckline i'm coming down by one and a half inches and then i'm using my curved ruler to connect that to the neck width so the back neckline and the front neckline have the same width the only difference is the depth and i'm also cutting along the line for the back piece as well now i'm just going to go ahead and cut along that fold so that fold is about that's about one and a half inches for the zipper allowance now at the bottom part i'm just cutting out an extra half an inch and connecting that back up to where we have that um armhole line that'll give it a better fitting now for my door face satin um, the length I'm using is 25 inches while the width is 60 inches. Okay, this is for the doll face satin to create the gathers. For my lining, the length is 25 inches and the width is 20 is um, 60 inches. Pardon me. Now for my um, net, I actually got five yards of fabric and then I cut it into two, as you can see me doing right now, and then I joined them at the ends, which makes it 10 yards. For my strong net, I got um, three yards and then I cut it along the length as you can see after folding it and then I joined them around, along the ends to make it six yards. Then this is the lace I'm using. The length is 19 inches and the width is two yards. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew gather stitches along the top of all these different layers of fabrics I showed you. Now for my bustier, I've cut out my lace pieces now I'm just going to go ahead and sew the neck and the sides now the way I place my lace and my door face is that I place the front the right side of the lace on the wrong side of the door face and I'm sewing the neck and the sides now when I turn it to the right side this is what it looks like can you see how neat it is now I'm placing the two back pieces right sides facing and then I'm just going to mark half inch from the edge of you know the piece and I'm just going to connect that and then I'm going to sew that down along that line as you can see right now. Now when I open it up, this is what we have. This is what it looks like. Now this is my front piece. I'm placing my back piece on top of my front piece. Now I'm going to show you how to, um, you know, join the shoulders of the front and back pieces. So you want to open up the two pieces as the lace and the door face and then sew them 
the way i'm showing you here so just sew the lace to one side and the door face to the other side now this is the easiest way to do this and the neatest way can you see how it turns out you can see the seam on the right side or on the wrong side okay and this is a very neat way to do this so i'm going to do the same thing for the other shoulder and then i'm going to fold my front piece and then i'm going to mark the bust circumference and the waist circumference then i'm going to connect those two points with a straight line now i'm going to fold this with the wrong sides facing each other and then i'll make sure that i i replicate that marking on the other side and this is what it looks like now i'm just going to go ahead and just join the front piece and the back pieces along the sides by sewing along that line that i marked this is what it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and create the gather stitches on all the pieces that i showed you the door face satin the lining the strong net and the soft net okay and as well as the lace as well and then i'm going to create the gathers as you can see so now this is how we're going to layer it we'll start with the strong net first and then i'm going to place the door face satin on top of the strong net and then i'm going to place the net on top okay so the next one is the net and finally i'm going to place the lace on top now i'm going to go ahead and sew all of them at the top together make sure that they are all the same length and the length that they should be should be your waist um circumference okay the length of this after gathering should be the waist circumference so you can easily join your top to it now we're just losing the seam i sewed on the zipper allowance for my top then i'm placing it on top of the pieces and i'm going to join all of them together now we're moving on to our bow for the bow i'm I've cut a piece that is 15 and a half inches long and about two two and a half inches wide. Now I'm just going to fold this piece lengthwise. I'm going to close one end so along the length as well. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to turn it to the right side. And then I'm also going to iron it flat as well. Now I went ahead to cut another piece that is seven inches long and four inches wide and then i turn it with a lining and then from the mid point there i'm just creating pleats and that will create my bow can you see what the bow looks like and then i'm going to use the previous um piece i created and i'm just going to tie it right at that center there i'm just going to create a knot okay just one knot right at the center so it looks like this now this is my band the length is the waist circumference and the width is two inches i turned it with a lining so i cut the lining to be the same with the main piece and then i turn it with each other now i'm just folding it okay so i can get the midpoint of the band and then i'm placing the bow i created right at that midpoint there now i'm just going to tack the two you know the pieces that i used to create that knot i'm just going to tack it to the band okay as you can see right here and once i'm done this is what we have now move those pieces to the back and then trim off the excess because you can see it's very very long i'm just going to trim it so it's shorter And then I'm just going to hold the two pieces together and then sew them together. And this is what it looks like once we're done. Our bow is ready. Our bow band <laughs> is ready. Now I'm just going to take my dress. I've already gone ahead to join the bodies to the bottom part of the dress which has the gathers. So now I'm just going to go ahead and sew the band to the um bodies of the dress i'm making sure to sew at the top part of the band as well as at the bottom as well and once we're done this is what we have can you see how cute that bow looks 
this is what the back of our dress looks like now it is time for us to insert our lining now when you're going to join your lining you're going to make sure you're sewing it to the allowance that you got after you sewed the bodies to the other gathered pieces okay make sure you're sewing this on the allowance now this is the best way to do this so that the lining covers that allowance and is nice and neat on the wrong side so this is what it looks like once we're done can you see how neat it is with the way i sewed the lining now from the half length there i'm going to mark six inches downwards which is where my zipper is going to stop same thing with the other side from the half length downwards six inches that's where my zipper is going to stop now i'm just going to fold my piece and then from that six inch mark i'm just going to sew it all the way down to the hem and then insert my zip from the top all the way to the six inch mark now after i'm done with that i'm just going to make sure that my shoulder is right so you can see my shoulder is 13 inches that's fine and then my armhole as well is okay if you feel like you need to trim your armhole a bit more you can go ahead and just trim it out the armhole is okay it is six inches depth and um it is six inches deep rather and that's fine for me so i'm just going to go ahead and use a bias tape to turn the um armhole and that's it guys that's how to make this lovely beautiful ball dress for a six-year-old and this is the finished look guys I also made this lovely booboo dress with fringes for the mother of the girl and I have a tutorial on that booboo dress so please check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!